God is always faithful to do what he promises that he's going to do. And we see that so clearly today in our story in Genesis chapter 35, where God really um, confirms the covenant with Jacob that he had made years and years and years ago with Abraham, uh, Abram who'd become Abraham. And then this would carry all the way to where we're about to pick up in our sermon series through the life of Joseph. And I just want to show you this. In Genesis chapter 35, uh, verse 11, this is God promising Jacob and saying this. It says that, and God said to him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall come from you and kings shall come from your own body. The land that I gave to Abraham and Isaac, I will give to you and I will give the land to your offspring after you. So how amazing is it as we've been walking through this this amazing story of journeying all the way up to Joseph about, man, there's some crazy things that happen in the story. There's some twists and some turns that maybe you didn't expect, but God is sovereign over it all and he's working out his promises for his glory and our good. And, and the Bible character is good, but even further, uh, we are included in that. Those of us that are believers in Jesus, we are included in the promise made to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and eventually carried all the way into fruition in the person and accomplished work of Jesus Christ. And so I just want to remind you today what we've been studying lately, it's this, that man, God is up to something in your life. God wants to use you and he wants to use your faithfulness to him. So I just want to encourage you today, man, be faithful in whatever it is that God calls you to. Be obedient as the Spirit leads you today. And I'm just so encouraged that our God wants to use us, man, even when it doesn't make sense. He wants to use even the craziest turns or the most difficult things that life has to throw at us. And he promises us that he's going to use that both for his glory and for our good. So take hope in that today.